From Chris TV, this is Chris 6 News at 5. At the wall or the steel barrier, they can have any name they want, but we have to have it, and it's going to happen. The president is visiting the Rio Grande Valley, continuing his push for support of a border wall. Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us. I'm Paulo Salazar. The president touched down in McAllen just after noon today as the partial government shutdown reaches day 20. The president is hoping the trip will help increase support for his call for border wall funding. Chris 6 News reporter Emily Hamilton is live tonight in McAllen, where she followed the president today. Paulo, there's been a consistent crowd of people here in McAllen since before uh, President Trump landed here in South Texas and throughout the afternoon, even after President Trump departed back for D.C. Uh, there's a lot of buzz and excitement around town and many people we spoke with say whether or not they support Trump. It's not every day the president pays a special visit to their hometown. We spoke with both supporters and protesters of President Trump. Both groups very vocal about their stances on tight security at the border. Supporters and opponents of President Trump's policies exchanged words near McAllen International Airport while the president met with officials about what he calls a crisis at our border. Because now they got a, a wild man who said, I'm going to push to get these things done. We needed a wild man to do this kind of stuff. We, when I found out he was going to come over here and try to sell his lies, I thought it was important that I come over here and I bring my daughter with me and I, you know, teach her what's going on. And, you know, if you've got to fight for something, you know, otherwise you stand for nothing. And it was a quick visit here in South Texas for President Trump. He met with several elected officials as well as federal agency, agencies here about security our southern border and uh, President Trump did head back to D.C. just before four o'clock this afternoon. Paulo. 